made at least 200,000 more this year than we did last year, at least, and probably even more than that, really. There we go. We just topped 900,000. Beautiful. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it's January 1st. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to make some money this month. So, yeah, we are going to uh, sell all of our lettuce, uh, well, all of our pallets, rather, uh, and all of our silage, and I expect to see some big figures at the top right-hand side of the screen by the time this episode is over. Uh, so let's take a look at the ledger from December. Pretty much nothing happened. Uh, this is December. We paid out six eighty nine dollars for property maintenance. We had, have our mysterious $169 production cost from whatever that comes from, and we paid our worker for moving the pallets, and that's it. So nothing else happened in December. And we are now into January. Okay, so uh, first, uh, let's go ahead and get the pallets done first, and then we'll do the silage later on. Um, because I want to want to get these pallets out of here so we can get back to good performance. I'm tired of a stuttery, frame ratey farm here. <laughs> um, okay, so let's move the... What I'm going to do is move the truck over this way. And then we'll back it up to here. That's good enough. And we want to do curtain left back, curtain left front. No, I think I want curtain left back. So close that back up because it'll load from the front back. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we have to keep the truck running or not for the auto load, so I guess we'll just leave it running. All right, let's grab our, our telehandler here. Uh, I went ahead and disabled the eye tracking, so this is my mouse movement again. It's um, I, I need to work with it a little bit to see if I can get it to be a little smoother and not quite so... Uh, I don't know. It, it needs some work. Um, but, I, I mean, it works a lot better in American Truck Simulator than in this game, too. So I think part of it's just this game isn't quite as geared for it, I suppose. All right, let's turn the lights on here. Okay, so let's start with the lettuce, because that's what we have the most of. And it's probably going to get really framey and jittery in here. But we got to get this stuff cleared out of here so we don't have that problem anymore. Yeah, there we go. Frame rate has tanked. Whoa, oh, 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 easy, easy. Get that right about there, and then trying to get the whole stack, or as much of it as possible, anyway. As soon as we get away from the big bulk of it, then it kind of clears up again. It's really weird. Okay, so we'll put that there. Put that up just a little bit. Now let's hop in here and load these guys up. Good. I, I don't know this for sure, but I suspect that once they're loaded in the trailer and stacked nice and neat, they become a little more stable. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But we'll load them up as we bring them out just to try and keep things from getting too crazy here. Here, let's go into first person for a moment so I can get lined up. Oh, that's bad.
Okay. Let's get rid of that. We need to get these pallets in front here. Okay, let's just grab that, that much. It's a little bit of a weird load, but I'll take what I can get right now. Whoa! <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to start loading lettuce, and uh, once we get the truck fully loaded, I'll bring it back at that point, and we will take it to market. I'm not even going to bother... Uh, checking the price until we're fully loaded because the price can flu fluctuate uh, very quickly. So if we checked it now and then we get everything loaded and come back later, it could be completely different. So no point in checking it until we're ready to actually head out. thousand liters of tomatoes it's crazy <laughs> and that's just the first load man oh boy okay so let's take a look and see who has the best prices um i'm gonna save the game right here too just in case something wonky happens uh all right so let us right here so it looks like Johnson's has the best price at the moment, but it is dropping, so we need to get out there right away. Okay, let's go. Get out of reverse. Yeah, everything is just really stuttery and framey, but, you know, once we get rid of these individual pallets, uh, things should, you know, performance should improve significantly i mean i've been dealing with this for months in game months when the farm is just really bad uh you know performance wise so okay let's go Even kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Ugh. <laughs> Better buck up, OG. You got a lot more pallets to load up. But boy, are we going to make some good money.
Yeah, I'll mess with the head tracking some more and see if I can improve it or see maybe if there's a... You better stay behind this car. Uh, you know, some tips for... I need to... I need to work on it for ATS too, American Truck Simulator, because it's it works, but it's it needs some work in that game too. And it's more important in that game that I get it working, because that's primarily what I bought it for, and it works a lot better in that game. All right, let's slow down. We want to make sure we don't take this corner too fast, because we don't want to lose our load. Nice and easy. I do like the shifter though. It just adds a lot to, to the game. I'm enjoying it quite thoroughly. Okay. So let's open this back up. I'm curious to see how what we're gonna get on even just one load. This is so much lettuce, it's crazy. Okay, start selling lettuce. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at the look at the numbers just skyrocketing up, man. Oh, okay. So we're not we must not be in range. Here. Yeah, it, it's not even pulling from the back row because we're too far over. Okay, let's do this. Let's um, let's open this side so we can see it better. So we want right. Yeah, right front should be fine. <clears throat> okay, now what we got to do is. You know what actually I'm going to do? Yeah, here, let's just pull up here. And let's go to R2. Nope, turn this way. That doesn't get all of it in the cell area, but it gets some of it in there. Yeah, it's it's just too much to get it all in one shot. That's okay though. Okay, now let's can we get this back around into the cell area? I think we got it. Yeah, it's taking it now. Okay. So for one load of lettuce, um, $33,251 for just one load of lettuce. And we've probably got at least three more full loads at least maybe even more than that so if i'm right if it's three more we're looking at a hundred and forty thousand dollars for the lettuce alone we still got the strawberries we got the tomatoes and then of course the silage that's where we're really going to see the money all right you guys well um i've got a lot more pallet loading to do so um, moving forward, I'm just going to kind of show you bits and pieces, maybe do a little bit of time lapse with some music, um, and then kind of bring you back towards the end to see what the final tally is on the pallets, and then we'll do something similar, you know, with the silage bales too. 
Okay, so yeah, enjoy the uh, enjoy the show. <laughs> we'll see how much money we can make off of this stuff. Alright guys, we are bringing our final load of lettuce to the Red Marble Bowling Restaurant. How, I have no idea what these guys are doing with so much lettuce, but they've had the best price except for the very first shot there. So this is the final load, man. Let's see what we get. And there it is. Okay, so let's take a look here, and we have made $319,838 on just the lettuce alone. We still have the tomatoes and the strawberries, which, of course, will not be quite this much, and then all the silage. So we, I don't know if we're going to hit a million, but we're going we're gonna to be doing pretty good when this is all said and done. So, um, yeah, at last time I checked, in fact, here, let's just check again. It looks to me like, uh, let's get the tomatoes knocked out next. So it looks like Mama Joe's fast food restaurant has the best price on tomatoes at the moment. Uh, so we're going to do those next. Um, I'm going to have a really hard time getting this trailer into Mama Joe's fast food restaurant unloading area though, but what I can do is I can unload the pallets from the trailer uh, into the loading area and then, you know, maybe pull, pull some of the rest of them in there that I need to. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, so yeah, you guys have seen basically the process. It's gonna be exactly the same this time around, except for of course it'll be tomatoes and then strawberries. So I probably won't show you any of the loading 
Uh, but I will definitely show you the selling um, for both the tomatoes and then the strawberries. And then once that's done, uh, then we will move on to the silage. But uh, we're doing pretty good. We're sitting at $362,281 right at the moment. And yeah, we're, <laughs> we still have a lot more to go. Uh, this is taking a long time too, man. I'll tell you what, um, I've probably spent maybe two real, uh, real time hours on this so far. Uh, at least actually probably so yeah uh, but i'm having fun man this is great this is what we've been waiting for all year long those greenhouses are really paying off uh, okay so yeah let's uh, get the tomato sold and then we will get the strawberry sold and then at when that's done i'll bring you guys back and we'll get started on the silage all right guys we are gonna drop off our first load of tomatoes here at Mama Joe's Diner, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is let's back up to here. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know how well that's gonna work. All right, we're just gonna get right in the center here, and then we're going to offload. <laughs> uh, okay, it's taking the ones in the middle. <laughs> My goodness, that's just amazing. <laughs> So yeah, well, we'll let it take all the ones in the middle and then we're, we're going to have to pull the ones on the side into the center. Look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> Whoosh. Okay. We have to, we do have to keep these level though or it won't pull the, the tomatoes in. And we still have another full trailer load and a little bit more left even after this too. The tomatoes are the are, are our smallest quantity. Uh, we're gonna have more, even more strawberries, but not quite as many strawberries as we had lettuce. Okay. I suppose I could. Um, I'm really careful. I might be able to get the. Oh nope. Those are going down, okay. Look at that money climb. We just hit 375,000 bucks. Nice. So um, I have a variety of things, upgrades to our farm that I want to do. And I haven't fully decided yet what the next step is. I'm kind of waiting to see how much money we actually end up getting. Can I pull those back off of there? I sure can. Look at that. First, you know, um, and then depending upon how much money we get, well, that'll kind of determine what my next move is. So I'm not going to say anything at this point about what that's going to be until I have, uh, uh, you know, a little bit better idea what it's going what it, what it's going to be. All right, so those should finish selling. There we go. Okay, so now we're up to 378,000. We have another full trailer load of tomatoes and then just a little bit more too. Whoa, that was close. So let's go get that next load here. Yeah, this this warehouse here, um, you know, this auto warehouse or whatever you want to call it, is just 100 times better than the cold storage. Cold storage is neat. It was a fantastic idea, but, you know, with all the performance issues that we had with it, uh, you know, this little auto pallet storage is definitely the way to do something like this. Uh, but, you know, I didn't really know until, until I knew. <laughs> so it's kind of too bad because cold storage, again, like I said, is just a fantastic idea, but there's just no way you could ever fill that up, you know, with pallets without having all kinds of performance issues. I mean, even a really high-end computer, I'm sure, would have problems with it because it's probably not even so much based upon how powerful a computer is. It's really more how the software, I think, deals with it would be my guess. I mean, I'm not a a, a giant ologist by any stretch of the imagination, but I wouldn't think that's probably what the deal is. So it's kind of bad, you know, too bad that you, you can't fully utilize it that way, but... It is what it is. 
And you know, one of the things that I think I'm going to end up doing, the more I think about it, is I'm probably going to get rid of that cold storage building, as neat as it is. I know I love it, <laughs> for those of you who might be disappointed about that. But it's taking up space that we could put a more useful building in, like say another shed, for example, because I'm, you know, I, I really need another shed. Um, and I'm going to, you know, depending upon how things go, hopefully we can get one after this payday, uh, along with, you know, the other things I want to do. But, you know, we, we just keep getting more and more equipment and I'm just, I don't have room anymore, you know. So looks like 561, looks like Mama Joe's fast food restaurant is still the best place. It's kind of too bad her farmer's market isn't offering the best price, but it isn't, you know, so. We got to go where we're going to get the best price. It just makes good business sense. That's all there is to it. You know what I might do this time is let's pull around the other direction so I don't have to keep switching sides on the trailer. All right, right there, open up. Let's actually back up just a smidge here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> There's something really cool about that whole entire stack, just poof. There it is. Okay. Here we go again. Whoosh. I like the whoosh sound. Okay, let's get these slid over. And I'll tell you what, I don't I don't know what I would do without super strength. This game would be so hard to play without super strength. I mean you guys that have that have been watching all along, you know I don't you know, use it all of the time. I try and do things legit, but sometimes you just have to do it, you know? It's a balance between realism and practicality is what it is. Let's turn our light on here. Okay, slide you over there. Okay, let's see if we can just get you over far enough. Makes me wonder what Mama Joe's gonna do with all these tomatoes. Maybe she has like a tomato soup special or something going on, I don't know. Okay, that should get everything sold there. Okay, $395,000. And uh, we should have a few more pallets left. We don't, we're not gonna have a full load, but I believe there's a few more left over there. So let's go grab them real quick. And there we go. The last of the tomatoes. Look at that money climbing up. We're gonna, we should hit $400,000 with this. Well, I think we will. It's gonna be really close. Maybe not. Will we? 398, 399. Nope, not quite. Almost though. <laughs> really close. Wow. And we still, I know I keep saying this, but we still haven't even sold our silage yet. And I have more silage this year than I had last year. Oh man. We, you know, we might hit a million bucks. I don't know. It's going to be close. It is going to be close. All right, my friends. Well, you know what's next? Strawberries. So uh, once again, I'm going to pull all of the strawberries out of the cold storage that are in there. They're just a mess because they <laughs> hope they've fallen apart. And then uh, we'll get the ones out of the, the distribution warehouse. And, uh, you know, once I get a full load of those going, I'll bring you back and we'll figure out where to go sell those and keep on keeping on. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Um, had a little bit of a problem moving uh, the first set of pallets out of here I basically moved them out uh, I need to get more this way and put them in the truck but I didn't I forgot to strap them down so I had to pull the truck a little further out and they got all mixed up so I don't know what kind of problems that's going to cause for us So yeah, as you can see, the 
<laughs> the load's a little, a little janky right now. Okay, let's just drop those there. Some of these I just ended up loading by hand because it was just such a mess. Um, can we do that? Okay, so it's loading those nice and straight in the back. Hmm. We might have to just come back after this. Um, oh man, they're falling out. Okay, yeah, we better, let's not risk it. We'll come back for those. 279 at Mama Joe's. Mama Joe's, a fast food restaurant. I wish it was her farmer's market because it would have been a lot easier to get to, but it is what it is. 279. Okay, yep, we're going to back to the fast food restaurant again. Strawberries will give us the least amount of money of the three types of produce, but it's not to say, whoa, that we still aren't going to make a decent amount of money off of all these just because we have such a high quantity of them. Not as much lettuce, but still quite a bit. All right, can we do this? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right, so we got those unloaded, and then uh, we'll have to do the same thing that we did before. For some reason, tomatoes seem to take a lot longer to offload than lettuce and strawberries. See, that was a lot faster. Okay, we're up to over 400,000 bucks now. So we'll do the same thing. We'll just pull all these into the load area like we did with the tomatoes. Uh, but like I said, it won't take quite as long to do these because they load faster. I wonder why that is. Seems odd. Maybe just an oversight on the developers, perhaps? Uh, or maybe there's an actual... No, I don't want you to go up there. Or maybe there's an actual reason for it. I don't know. Okay. Let's go get their rest of the cold storage ones, and then we'll get the ones out of the distribution warehouse. Let's grab these strawberries and set their output mode to storing. Uh, I need to set these back to distributing so it starts keeping them inside the building. Okay. And here we go. Let's load up. Oh, truck is drifting here. I'm going to have to back up. I know I keep complaining about this, but I really wish uh, we had a parking brake in this game, man. All right, guys, that is it for the strawberries. Um, let's check egg prices. Because if Mama Joe's also giving the best price on eggs, we could also sell those right now, too. Uh, let's see. Bakery, eleven eighty nine, twelve. Oh, she is. Okay, she's giving twelve oh four. So let's, might as well pull the eggs out of here, too. Uh, so let's see. We want to go to eggs and set those to uh, distributing. No, storing. Oh, how many liters are there in a pallet of eggs? Maybe there's more. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I know that. I think there's a couple pallets of eggs over by the chicken coop. Um, maybe there's more than 500 liters, so let's put this back to s distributing for now. And we'll run over uh, to the chicken coop real quick. And we'll just throw those two pallets on. We'll leave the partial there. Okay. Final pallet sale, ladies and gentlemen. Man, this is 
taken quite some time, and we still have the silage to do too, which is a nice problem to have. Not really a problem at all, it's just going to be a lot more work. Okay. Drop those off. Everything except for the two in stacks. Okay, we'll pull these over. Man, Mama Joe is stocked up. I'll tell you what. There we go. All right. So, if we take a look at our books, we have sold $396,741 worth of product. Most of that, uh, the vast majority of that came from the the greenhouses with just the the little two pallets of eggs. Uh, we sold thirty six thousand worth of eggs in November. If you guys remember, uh, oh, did you see what I did there? November, if you remember. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we almost cleared four hundred thousand um, dollars just from the pallets. So that's pretty good money, guys. That is pretty good money. Um, but we're not done. We still have we have the silage to do too. Uh, okay, I have no idea where we are in terms of time because I'm going to have a lot of editing to do in this episode. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to keep going. Maybe. Man, it's al it's already late in real life, too. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep going for a while. And uh, if I can fit all of this into one episode without making it hugely long, I will. If we have to split it up into two, we have to split it up into two. We'll just see how things go. Um... So, yeah, I'll do, uh, I'll just do some more, you know, time lapse on the silage. It's essentially just going to be me loading and taking to, well, where are we going to take it to? Let's take a look here. Silage, 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 silage. It looks like the biogas plant has the best price, even though it is dropping, but that's good because biogas plant is a little closer to us than the animal dealer anyway. Uh, so... Um, let's get going on the silage and see how much money we end up making at the end of the day today. I'm going to get the curtain side parked over here. This is a nice trailer, man. It's, it's uh, worked out quite well for us. I almost considered um, leasing a second one in a second man truck. You know, but the thing is, is I don't know if the, the workers wouldn't be able to, to deliver this product. I, I mean, could have them drive. It would have been somewhat useful to have them drive up to the Red Marble, but over to Mama Joe's, that just, that would not have worked. Um, so, you know, we saved ourselves some money by not doing that, I guess. Okay, cool. So, yeah, all of the bales we're going to sell are round bales, which means we can use our round bale loader here. And I guess we'll just jump in the New Holland for that. We'll get this guy parked and out of the way. And, uh, you know, last year we made over $400,000 on our silage. And I have, I believe I have more silage uh, this year than I did last year. In fact, I'm sure that I do. So I'm expecting, well, more than $400,000. We'll put it that way. If we can get something closer to 556, then we could hit that hit a million bucks. It's exciting, man. All right. So I'll, I'll keep you with me for the first for the first load, and then we'll go into time lapse for the rest of it. Uh, looks like we're in first person here. Um, we could use the man for this. Now nah, let's just use the the tractor. The man works fine, but it's it's a little bigger and it's got the t you know the tongue, so we'll we'll be a little more compact if we hook up the tractor. Okay. So we'll head on over to our storage area.
How are the chickens doing on food, by the way? Let's take a look at that. Oh, they're they're in pretty good shape. The greenhouses are. Yeah, they're starting to get low on seed and water, but I'm going to buy a whole a, a, a full silos worth of seed and fertilizer with this money, too, as you know, one of several things that we're going to purchase uh, for the following year. And I still have. Um, let's take a look at this. I still have a decent amount of fertilizer in there, so we don't have to buy like a full. Yeah, I've got 9,300 liters in there still, so we won't have to buy like a full silos worth. But I, I'm going to fill it up and top it off because. Not only do we use it for the greenhouse, but I also use it for all the fertilizer contracts throughout the year. And it's so nice to be able to just load from that instead of having to mess with the bags, you know? I love it. Okay, these bales should be fermented. I hope they are. Are they? Yeah, they are all fermented because these were harvested in November. Look how much straw we have. <laughs> we have 2.4 million liters of straw you guys this is crazy i mean i could sell some of that for money too but we're gonna hang on to it because we're gonna need it for what's coming um we have two hundred ninety-seven thousand and change liters of hay and we have two over two million liters of silage bales that's just amazing okay so uh before we mess with these uh, obviously, we want to get these loose ones out of the way first. So let's get started loading them up and uh, take them to the biogas. You know what? You know what we could do here is I could lease a second pickup trailer and we could at least have workers hauling back and forth. You know what? That's probably worth doing. What's it cost to lease, just lease another pickup trailer now that I think about it? You know, um, bail loader. Yeah, that's going to cost us 2500 bucks. We're doing it. That way I can get, you know, to a, a driver. I'm basically here loading while the drivers are driving. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's pop back over to here for a second. We'll use the McCormick. Wait, was I just in the McCormick? I think it's putting me in the cockpit. Yeah, right here. Okay. Put me in the cockpit of it. Or the the cab, I guess we should say. Yeah, this is a good this is a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it because this will save some time. I mean it literally took me, I don't know, probably three or four hours of real time last year to do all that silage. <laughs> so getting two going at the same time is gonna definitely make that go a little bit smoother. Okay. I mean we could even conceivably lease a third trailer and put the man on the third one well let's see how how it works with two first and then if i feel like it's warranted you know for another 2500 bucks why not right now i don't think the ai can actually deliver the bales so they're basically just going to drive them down there and then i'll have to teleport down there to offload and you know just kind of go back and forth like that I think let's let's get a, a load going first and just see what happens but I'm pretty sure whoops wrong button I'm pretty sure they can't deliver silage but let's see maybe I'm wrong it'd be nice if I was wrong okay let's get this loaded up I don't know if we use the auto load thingy and I paid an imaginary our imaginary worker if we could get more bales on like the flatbed than this hmm that's something to think about but then again you know then i gotta pay more money for that so i think we'll just do it this way it'll definitely load them faster but does it put you know this holds 24 bales what well, you know can we get 24 bales on the flatbed for example i might it might be worth a try once we start getting over to the big storage we can at least try it once and see what it does for science right this isn't too bad though i mean it's the square bale pickup is was more involved just because it only holds 14 so it just you know was twice as much work basically compared to this or very nearly anyways 
And actually, liter per liter, the, the 220 centimeter square bales are not that much bigger than these 150 centimeter round bales. They're a little bit bigger, but not by a ton, actually. So I figured, I didn't do an exact count, but I figured we get about another half a stack. So a roughly 12 more bales-ish when we do our second and third cutting because we wait for the second harvesting stage for those two. But I have to do the first stage on the first cutting and the fourth cutting. Uh, otherwise, I won't be able to get four in in a year. I explained that to you guys in a, an earlier episode. But I watched somebody else on a video, and they, they basically said you can either do five first stage cuttings or two first stage cuttings and two second stage cuttings, and you get almost exactly the same amount. So, I mean, you know, to, to get the same amount for one less cutting is definitely worth it. Anyway, let's go here into the worker menu. Create job. And yeah, all they can do is is do the go to. They can't uh they can't actually deliver hay with this trailer. Um and I've actually been using set destination because it's the same as go to. I don't know I, I can't find any difference between or see any difference between those two, except for this is a few less clicks. So what I want you to do is I want you to go here and basically uh Let's see if we can get them to back in the trailer. Now, sometimes when you do this, they start driving around in circles. So if they have trouble backing in, I'll just send them in forward and then I'll, hey, don't run me over. And then I'll take care of the backing up part. Okay, so while he's hauling, we can start loading with this one. And then we'll just kind of keep rotating each of the trailers in and out. And we'll see how it works. And if I end up like sitting around waiting, a lot. I don't think I will. I think he's going to get to the biogas plant before I'm completely done loading this trailer. So it's probably, the timing on it's probably going to be just about right. But we'll see how it goes. Well, unless he gets stuck somewhere. Man, I was having the dickens of a time with the workers. Um, can't remember. It, it was either the sugar beet harvest that I did off camera or the one before that where they were just constantly getting stuck. It's like the worst I've ever seen. The cool thing about all that straw, it was essentially free. It was from contracts. And we have, we've almost completely filled up our barn. I do have to, for those of you who may not know this, uh, you do have to have a mod to actually collect the straw from a contract, which doesn't, I don't understand why Giants didn't just build that into the base game. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? If someone's going to hire you to harvest their wheat field, for example, why wouldn't they let you also take the straw if, if otherwise all you're going to do is just, you know, shred it up? I suppose it could maybe be used for mulch, but the game doesn't actually consider shredded straw mulch. Now, there's a mod for that, though, too, interestingly enough. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's get you backed up here and turn around. Okay, so yeah, Worker D is at their destination. And we just finished loading this one. So I think the timing on this is actually going to probably work pretty good. Okay, so let's go set destination. And I'll probably be out of there by the time you come. But you know what? Actually, let's have him back up to this one here. Okay, and then we'll teleport, whoops, to here. Now, he didn't quite back up all the way, but he did pretty good, actually. Okay, let's see if we can get this offloaded before that other guy gets there, because we're probably going to be in his way. So I might have to figure out the best positioning of them. We'll see. Now, I'm expecting about 25 grand from this load. Let's see what happens here. Well, now it's going to be a little harder to figure. So 13, 18, 6, 7, uh, and 18. Yeah, that was, a, that was actually quite a bit over 25 grand. In fact, if we look here, sold bales, it was 25,893. Okay, cool. So yeah, each load we do here is going to be just a little bit over $25,000, which is exactly what I was expecting. Okay, 
Man, we gotta get out of here before our dude gets over here. And then I'll drive this one back and start loading it, and then you come here, offload the other one, drive it back while, you know, this one's coming back, etc., etc. That's the plan, Stan. All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to uh, let you go here. Well, I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to I'm gonna go into time lapse. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the music and the time lapse. I'll see you when this is all done, and we'll see how rich we are. It's going to be good. your face it is written across your face if you want to talk i'm right here not gonna leave your side just feel free to open up when the moment's right across your face it is written across your face if you want to go out we can go out you can hide away just for one night but if you want to cry just let it out i'm by your side Seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night off our final load uh, we are not going to hit a million dollars but uh, we should be right close to nine hundred thousand hopefully a little bit over that by the time we uh, dump off the full load that's over there in the New Holland and this load here I kept six silage bales in the storage uh, because, oh, I'm not paying attention here. Um, because we're going to need them for what's coming up next. 
so let's get uh, over to the biogas plant and get this finished up so yeah we should <clears throat> excuse me we should hit 900,000 we should top that but uh, we're not gonna make a million now I could sell some of that straw uh, I would imagine I'd have to sell a decent amount of that straw to get a hundred thousand dollars but I don't think we need to. I think we're fine. I mean, I could, actually. I don't need that much straw. I mean, <laughs> that is a lot of straw. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that, actually. We just, we really don't need that much straw. And this is a good time to sell it. We don't have a lot of hay, so I, I wouldn't sell the hay, because we're going to need that, too. Okay, so... Let's send this guy back to the ranch. And actually, we are finished with this trailer, too. Uh, okay, so return this. That was a very worthwhile uh, lease there. And then we'll send you back home. You can just park over here somewhere for now. And let's drop off our final load here. So we're at 882.916. So we are definitely going to top uh, 900,000. That's not bad. We made 700,000 and some odd last year. I don't remember the exact amount, uh, but it was 700,000 something. So we've made at least 200,000 more this year than we did last year, at least. And probably even more than that, really. There we go. We just topped 900,000. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. 908,000. Actually, no, we didn't We didn't profit 900,000 because we we started this episode with 40,000 and some odd dollars. Um Here, let's take a look at the books here. Okay, so we sold $474,213 worth of bales and $396,741 of pallets. Um, so our total profit was $865,000. That's some pretty good money. That's the most money we've we've had. Uh, why did it charge me for that? I had to I did a little bit of smoothing. Vehicle leasing costs, worker costs, 64 miscellaneous. That's for storage over at the train station. Yeah, wow. Look at that money, you guys. Almost a million. Now, I, I could sell some straw. I really could. I just, you know, thing is, is I don't have a square bale pickup, but we could use the auto, the auto load thing on the flatbed for that. I guess I'd be curious to know how much we could make off of one flatbed trailer. Um, I guess it's worth a try, isn't it? I guess it's worth a try. So yeah, let's head on back and grab the flatbed trailer and and try give that a shot and see. see. Okay, let's park here for a second. All right, now we want to go to here. We want straw. We want square 2.4 meter bales. And just unload as many as you can. Oh, well, that's not very neat. Huh. Okay, let's get this over here. Every once in a while, when the round bales would unload, they would do this little weird offset thingy, too. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so... Let's load these guys up. didn't uh, 
get those ones in the back. There we go. Um, we can we can take one more bale. 2.4 meter square bale, and we just want one. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's a full load of straw. That's 297,000 liters of straw. <laughs> like a lot of straw, man. Okay, so let's go sell this load and just see what we get from it. Um, so we need to find out the best price. Um, actually, yet yeah, last month would have been the best time, but it's still very, very good right now. So, uh, animal dealers paying fifty dollars. Okay, let's head over to animal dealers see how much we get for this load. Okay, we want to unload on the left side. Okay. Okay, so that got us up to 923. That's not a lot of money. Um, okay, so we were sitting at 908 and change. So let's go 923 minus 908. We made around $15,000 off that load. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to, uh, we could probably do it without completely emptying the straw barn. Man, maybe we should. I mean, we got that straw for free. <laughs> well, we, it cost us time and effort, but it didn't cost us any money. Hmm. On the other hand, we don't need to hit a million dollars. It would just be kind of cool if we did to hit a million dollars. You know what I mean? So, let's see. We'd need, let's see, four loads would be 60, five loads would be 75. We'd have to do a little over five more loads to hit a million bucks. I want to look at it again and see if that would deplete the, all of the straw. I don't think it would. No, it shouldn't. I don't think it will. Um, what the heck? Let's do it. Wait, I want a million bucks, man. Huge milestone. million dollars. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, look at this, you guys. Oh, man, we're one bale away from a million dollars. All right. Let's head on back. Um, I'm going to actually bring one more full load because I have plenty, so why not, right? Let's go get the final load. Look at that money. Oh, that's awesome. There we go. And we need three more for a full load. So yeah, that puts the straw down. Well, there's still more straw than there is hay, but plenty, plenty of straw for what we need to do next. Um, okay, so square bale 2.4, click OK, and I want three. There we go. Load them up. Fantastic. Whoop. Okay. 
Let's go become millionaires, guys. So, um, how long have I been playing this game? Um, in-game time? Here, should probably stop the truck for a second. We are... What are we looking at? This. Statistics. Total, does it say years played? Six. Look at that. Wow, six years. Man, I thought we were only at, at the end of like the fifth year, but I must have lost a year. <laughs> this sounds like real life. Oh my goodness. All right, find the right gear. I'm like so excited right now. Six years on hard economy it took for us to get a million bucks. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad for a hard economy. If you guys are experienced Farming Simulator 22 players, let me know. It wasn't, you know, making a million dollars wasn't really a specific goal, but it is now. <laughs> it is now, man. I, you know, it, I, it wasn't necessarily in my mind. Well, actually, it kind of was, because I, I think I did mention to you guys, you know, that there was the possibility that we might make a million dollars. But, I mean, I hadn't set that as an a, as a definite goal. It was more just, um, you know, let's wait and see. But we got so close with everything else, and we have all this free straw. And I knew we'd be able to do it without, you know, using all of the straw up, because we need some of it. And so, yeah. Here we are. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, and <laughs> we smash our truck in the process. Okay. You gotta watch this corner here, man. This corner's gotten me before. Hmm, I wonder who knocked over that stop sign. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's pull her on in here. Okay. Put that in reverse. Clunk. There we go. We did it. We are millionaires. Yeehaw! OG has made it to millionaire status. Here we got it. We got to get get a good look at our hero here. Uh, how do I get into third person? Right here. Look at you, buddy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh man, I wish we could. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I wish we could. Uh, yeah, take a bow, OG. Take a bow. I wish we could do emotes. <laughs> He's jumping for joy. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, you guys, that's awesome. Huge, huge milestone for us in Farming Simulator. All right, let's throw the rest of the straw in here too. And make a little extra money. OG is gonna call up Mama Joe. And uh, her family, and we're gonna have to celebrate. All right, one million fifteen thousand and twenty-eight dollars. It's a beautiful thing. All right, you guys, that's amazing. Wow, we are millionaires. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so what's next is I've got a crap ton of editing to do. <laughs> it took me. Oh gosh, I don't know. It probably took me about six hours. Six, at, yeah, it's probably about six hours it took me in real time to re record this episode. I mean, assuming I can even get all this into one episode, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so I got to get all that edited, and then I need to do some thinking and planning for the next steps. I've got several things I want to do, and I'm fairly sure we're gonna do one of those things. But I haven't fully decided that, and I haven't fully decided exactly how, you know, we're going to do it and all that sort of thing. Uh, so I need to think about that for a bit. 
and what are you doing? Um, he's going, I'm staying in the right lane, you're not. <laughs> it's all right, man. Um, OG's like just completely giddy right now. He's a millionaire, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna, I gotta give it some thought and, you know, a little bit of planning. And, um, so I will let you know in the next episode what we're gonna do. I think. Well, yeah, I will. Um, I, I won't start the next epi episode until I know that. So, whew, wow. What a, we did a lot of work over the past six years to reach the millionaire status, man. Pretty doggone cool, if you ask me. Um, all right. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to let you go here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And I'll let you know what's happening next in the next episode. OG's going to run over to Mama Joe's and have a cheeseburger to celebrate. He's hungry after all this work. Okay, guys, see ya.